So I recently installed a radon system in my home and I do have a cellar. We started at a 10.61 picocuries and now we're at a 0.21 picocuries. I'm gonna show you what I bought and how I installed it and hopefully it'll save you some time. This is my setup. I ended up going with the Festa Legend. I only have about 700 square feet in my cellar so this is more than enough. I ended up installing a plug out here because I wanted to have an option of installing another security camera or lights. And this package actually comes with a power cord. So that worked out. One of the things I had a hard time figuring out was an adapter from a four inch to a downspout. Now online, I did find later that there were some other options I didn't check out, but Homes, uh, uh, Home Depot and Lowe's only had something like this for like a drainage uh, piping. So uh, it was really loosely fit all the way around. Um, it kind of worked. I ended up just screwing it in and caulking it all the way around to make that seal. And that's how I solved that problem. Down here, uh, this little plate uh, was tough to find as well. They don't sell that at a store around here. So I had to get it online. And I'll have that uh, link in the description as well. But I went with the downspout because I felt that it just looks a lot better than the pipe going all the way to the top. I ended up buying 10 mil plastic sheeting and I felt that it was pretty thick. I don't think you need to go any thicker than that. It is really heavy. I bought the 20 by 100 and it's super heavy to uh, move around. Um, it's kind of a pain to unfold that in smaller spaces. But um, other than that, I think it worked pretty well. And uh, even if there's some damage to this um, from sharp rocks or maybe cement down in the cellar, uh, you can get some tuck tape, put it, put it right over it, and it seals it up pretty good. Here we are in the cellar. Okay, so I ended up building out platforms down here so that uh, there's still airflow underneath uh, areas where uh, I just wanna have storage. Uh, you can see the pipe over on that side. Uh, so where there's the holes, I um, put platforms on risers there so the airflow still goes underneath. On that side, there isn't any airflow on the back side, so I didn't bother putting the platform or pavers down. But you can see here that we had a little little tear. You can see little pieces there um, where the rocks are kind of poking through. So if they poke all the way through, we just get some tuck tape and just tape it on there. This is really, really sticky stuff and it works great. It makes a great seal. Now you'll notice on this side, we use some caulk to put the plastic sheeting up on the cement. We've tried other type of um, adhesive, but it seems like this one was the best one. Uh, it's been holding up now for probably about a couple weeks, and it's great. Uh, it made a great seal, sticks to the plastic, also sticks to the cement. So this is a Dynaflex Ultra Advanced Exterior Sealant. We tried some other stuff that did not stick to the plastic at all. Luckily we did a little test, little test hit and um, uh, we figured that out before we did the whole thing. We had about seven, 800 square feet down here to do. I would say maybe 14 to 15 of these did it. This is the stuff that did not work. All right, this is the Loctite premium glue construction adhesive it said it does plastics pvc and cement but it's coming right off the cement and it came easily right off the plastic so don't use that loctite stuff so this tubing is corrugated solid pipe it doesn't have holes in it a lot of people buy the ones that have holes already in there and what i've learned is that it's um, too many holes and there won't be enough pressure or suction to get um, all the gas out so 
uh, especially at the end of the pipe. So uh, what I did was speaking with some people here in Utah that install these things, they said that they get the solid and they uh, put a hole every three feet to make sure that they have enough suction to reach the back of where they're trying to get to. And this worked out really, really well. I ended up painting uh, every hole I drilled in just so that on the outside, I, I knew where these holes were at. So this is the part that goes out of the house. I ended up getting the Schedule 40 uh, pipe with the adapters, T adapter there. The kit came with uh, this little, uh, I think called a manometer, and it'll tell you um, the suction pressure. And the back here, I just drilled a hole with uh, a hole saw matching the pipe, which I believe was a four, four and a half, I believe, four and a half inch hole saw, but uh, I glued these together, single, secured that. I secured that to cement as well down at the bottom. Uh, this tubing here doesn't really fit in these, uh, these connections. So what I had to do here was I made a cut about an inch or two in that I was able to fold that over. I put PVC glue in there with caulk around it. Then I screwed these in because I was moving them around a lot and I was kind of separating it um, before it was completely dry. So I um, put that just secured in there. But it goes down there. Uh, the trick for me was trying to get this plastic around the pipe and sealed. Um, I think most people just do a 90 down and they're able to get it a little easier. But I just went... Uh, down with it um, because I heard that every 90 you have loses uh, suction a little bit and so I tried not to do uh, any of the 90s I just tried to just lay the pipe down as smoothly as possible so a lot of caulk a lot of tape to try to get that sealed around there uh, we did the best we could I'm sure there's a really great trick for that but I couldn't find it so that was a pain point for us to try to get that uh, air tight. So, but we just had to cut a slit into the, the plastic, um, put it over to the cement, and then try to tape it around to make a really good seal. One thing we found out, um, once we turned on the fan, we noticed the plastic here started really sticking against the wall and down around. And we gave it a lot of extra material because we just didn't really know what to expect. But it did really nicely there. On the other side, I ended up going a little too tight with it. Uh, so it sticks out maybe more across this way, but it did pull it down a bit before it dried. So I would recommend to have a lot of slack on the pipe side so it can go down on the back side of this wall more. So it'll stick better um, and then come around a little bit but so corners were a pain uh, we found a few videos that showed us how to make cuts or extra or take off material in the corners but i didn't feel like they were that great um, so we left some bagginess there some extra materials so that uh, it could breathe um, and but also we used the tuck tape and we use a lot of the cult to make a good seal on that back side for the latter area I put some wood down so that it wouldn't pierce the plastic and we wrap the corner the best we can with the caulk and the tape and it looks like it made a really good seal so we're happy about that